Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Rusho, a first year medical student at the University of Toronto. When I took the MCAT, I didn't have what you guys had today. Artificial Intelligence, or AI for short. In this video, we'll tell you how to use this technology to destroy your MCAT. Let's get started with our first tool. ChatGPT. ChatGPT already beat the US Medical School Licensing Exam, the USMLE, so the MCAT must be a piece of cake. Well, you can't get it to write the exam for you, but you can definitely use it to optimize your studying. Let me start with a question. What is the best way to remember important facts for an upcoming exam? If you guessed acronyms, you're right. They're the easiest and most straightforward way of remembering important aspects of any exam. You can prompt ChatGPT by saying something like, make a mnemonic for embryogenesis, which is one of the hardest topics on the MCAT. By doing so, you're going to get it to make a mnemonic right away. And it's pretty good, but it's a little long. So let's tell it to make it a little shorter. Here we go. Play around with it so it suits your learning style. Now that was just one way you could use ChatGPT for MCAT preparation. But why don't we just ask the technology itself how we can use it? It's astonishing how good it is. You could ask it to create a schedule for you based on the topics you want to cover, ask it to create practice questions for you, or even ask for any clarification you might have on any of the topics. The way certain concepts are phrased in MCAT books can be somewhat confusing. And to be quite honest, they can be unnecessarily confusing. You can tell ChatGPT to simplify these topics in various ways. For example, you can tell it to explain to you the cell cycle like you were five years old. Using this ground up learning technique, you can ensure success. So ChatGPT can do all of this. So why are we here to give you advice? The problem with ChatGPT is that the advice is general and basic. There are also many times where ChatGPT gives you the wrong sources or the wrong information. For this reason, you have to be extra careful and use it as a tool, not a supplement. The next technology we would recommend is Notion AI. Now, Notion is an app that's popular in pre-meds for note-taking and organization. Now that they have their own AI, productivity can go up exponentially. You can even get it to generate new content like questions or even notes on a specific topic. Imagine writing, give me a summary on neuralation. Not only will this give you the answers you're looking for, but it will also provide you with an organized way to access all of that information. Another way to use this tool is to use it to test yourself. Think of a topic that you want to learn and write everything about it down in five minutes. Then get the Notion AI to proofread it to see how many things you got right and how many things you got wrong. Now the next product we want to talk about is Descript. I've personally been using this product to transcribe some of our MedVoice videos to create captions out of it. And it's highly accurate, so I would definitely trust it well. It has a paid plan, but it's free for a certain amount of uses. Now, how do we use Descript for the MCAT? When you're studying off of the books and a topic becomes a little confusing to understand, we generally gravitate towards videos to understand it better. However, you may understand it in the moment, but then forget that a few minutes later. How do we combat this? This is where Descript comes into play. You can get it to transcribe the videos that you were listening to and then store that information in a centralized place like Notion or Google Docs. There are two things that you need to study for the MCAT, content review and practice problems. And practice problems are arguably the most important. And question banks from AAMC and New World are quite expensive, but you can bypass this by using this website called Yippity. Yippity converts your notes into questions in a matter of seconds. Do you understand how crazy that is? You can copy and paste a whole MCAT chapter into a text box and immediately generate a quiz that you can practice from right away. Damn! This will save you a fortune and provide you with unique questions that you probably won't find anywhere else. The only catch that comes with this is they only offer three quizzes a month for free. However, if you have five friends, for example, who are taking the MCAT and you get them to get their three quizzes, then you can exchange them and get 15 quizzes in total. This one may surprise you because you might not have thought of it to be AI, but it's Anki. Anki uses artificial intelligence to analyze your progress and provide you with appropriate flashcards at the right time. This is why this app has become very prominent in the last few years in the pre-med circles. There are pre-made decks for the MCAT that are split into chapters and you can find them online. As a result, you can save those precious hours that you would spend making those cards 
and instead put them towards actually studying and getting closer to that 528 on the MCAT. You should use Anki primarily for the psychology section because it's based on the Khan Academy videos that were made in collaboration with the AAMC, the body that makes the MCAT. In terms of other subjects, you just use it based on how much you need it for your understanding. Another impressive AI tool we have is actually one that Numen made himself. It gives you personalized advice based on the questions you ask, and it serves as a tutor and a mentor that you desperately need. Check it out in the description below. Those were just some of the AI tools that you could use to improve your MCAT studying this summer. We know that all of you will get 520s, and make sure you comment down below what you thought about these tools. We also did a giveaway for MCAT prep books for free on our Instagram last week. So if you want to enter into these giveaways, go follow up and subscribe to our YouTube so you don't miss this in the future.